So in physics, we're going to use radians a lot. Okay, this is another way to measure angle. So um, whether you you know about this and if you're a little bit shaky or uh, or you've never heard about this, I will give you a sort of review. Um, and it, it's very simple. It's a very simple topic, so I should be able to cover it in five ten minutes um, to give you a refresher of all the key points. Uh, if you're very familiar with radians, you know exactly what you're doing. You can skip this uh, video and directly go to the next one um, uh, without loss of a any context. Um, but yeah, if you will find this helpful, I'll give you a quick review. Um, what I'm going to talk about is what the, what is, um, uh, what, 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 yeah, what is the concept? And I'll tell you a, the, the trick um, of how to convert between degrees and radians. It's basically another way to measure angles. Um, we're familiar with degrees, a circle, a full circle is 360 degrees. Um, but degrees is, a, it, it's a, it's a very stupid unit actually in science. Um, we'll, we'll see in mathematics and physics, Radiance is much more convenient, um, and I'll try to convince you at the moment. I know that you don't believe me, but we'll uh, try to convince you uh, uh, otherwise. Um, uh, so I'll talk, tell, tell you the concept, um, the trick to convert between the two, and, um, and also the why. Okay. Um, if you don't know why we're using radians, uh, maybe you can skip to the end of the video and just watch that part if you know how to do the conversion and the concept already. Okay. So. Um, the, 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 the concept and the motivation starts with this, is if you think about it, I want to measure angles. And um, every day we use 360 degrees as a full circle. But have you asked yourself, why 360 degrees? Who came up with this number? Is it, is it God-given number that this is a special sacred number we need to stick with? No, there was a guy, there was some British who, who decided 360 is a good number. So we just stuck with it. So it's completely arbitrary. There's no mathematical benefit. With, well, um, I take that a little bit back. There is, there is some motivation, I'm being a little bit too harsh on it. Um, but you know what? I'll tell you why. Um, why 360? Um, back then, there are no calculators. <laughs> there are no electronic or digital calculators. Uh, you can only use your brain. So. Um, what are the common things you want to do is, well, you can multiply, add, subtract, but dividing is the most annoying things to do uh, out of all the algebraic operations, right? So um, think about it. You might think it's natural to divide something in 10, right? So if something um, goes from, you know, from zero to 10, that, that seems like a, a good way, good thing to have a, have a certain unit, right? That's the, how the, the whole international standard system, the metric system is based on. Um, but if you think about it, okay, so can, if I want to divide it by two, what do I get? If I divide it by two, well, it's five. Um, if I want to divide it by three, what's 10 divided by three? Now I get really ugly numbers, right? I get a never ending um, decimals. So just dividing a, something, if, if I call a piece of wood 10 units long, whatever my units is, 10, um, uh, 10 sunny longs, <laughs> um, and I need to divide it by, by three, now it's 3.33 sunnies in, in each segment. And, and now it's, this is, this is an annoying number, right? Uh, so, if I, so if I divide by two, that's good. Divide by three, that's annoying. I don't get full numbers. What about divide by four? Divide by four is divide by two and two. So it's 2.5 for, for each segment. It's not too bad, but still gives me a decimal, not a whole number, not very friendly. Five works, okay? Six, again, doesn't really work with 10. Seven, the 10 divided by seven doesn't give you nice numbers. 10 divided by eight doesn't give you nice number. 10 divided by nine doesn't give you nice numbers. 10 divided by 10 does, but both one and 10 is trivial. So only two and five is a good number if you choose 10, right? Um, uh, so making, if, if I want a circle uh, and I call the whole unit going from zero to 10, then halfway through it's five, but then now, if I want one, if I want um, sort of one third of it, now I get you know one point six or you know three point three three and two point five. I get really ugly numbers, and that's hard to do in your head. So in the olden days, right, that's not a good choice of numbers, and you recognize two and five is basically the factors of ten. So what are better numbers with factors, with, with bet better factors? Here's my proposal. How about twelve? So 12, what are the factors of 12? Well, if I divide by two, that's a nice number. Divide by three, that's a nice number. Divide by four, that's a nice number. Divide by five, not so much, okay? But divide by six, again, nice number. Seven, not so much. 
eight, it's decent, right? Not, not well, I won't count it as a proper factor, but um, nine, again, you, you understand 12 divided by nine is decent. Um, uh, yeah, you can go on like this and you realize suddenly I've increased just by changing from 10 to 12, I've increased by the, my number of good factors from two to four, I've doubled it, all right? Another better one is 60. Why? Because I get the best of both worlds from 10 and 12. I get all the, 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 the pro for 12 is it work, it, I have good factors for two, three, four, but not five, right? Two, three, four, six, not five. For 10, I have two and five, but not three, four. So if I find 60, now I can actually have good factors for two, three, four, five, six. Seven, again, it's a prime number, it's not very convenient. Eight, not too well. Uh, nine, not too well, et cetera. But 60 is a great improvement, right? It sort of gets a little bit of best of both worlds um, from 10 and 12. And what's even better is multiply that by another, um, uh, another quadrant, right? Uh, and uh, square it and get 360. Now, this is really good because um, it can... Uh, also be divided by, so two, three, four, five, six, not seven, seven prime numbers are a little bit tricky to work with, but um, eight, yes, nine, yes, 10, yes, yeah, so not for 60, uh, for 360, um, 11, not quite, but 12, yes, etc. 15, yes, right, so very, very convenient, so that's where 360 comes from, it's purely, it, it's an artifact from the, from the olden days uh, of a world without calculators. Um, so um, it, it has this benefit. It's a nice number. I, I cannot, I'll, uh, I cannot um, dismiss that. Um, however, it's not mathematically uh, ingrained. Uh, there's nothing special about 360, okay? So, all right, if a whole circle, if we're not gonna use 360 degrees, right? So let's not use degrees, right? So that's the unit. So remember to put the unit. Um, what is a better choice? Here's my proposal. Let's use two pi. And you will go like, why? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just say that 360 was a decent number and now I'm inventing an uglier number, right? So the whole circle is gonna be two pi. Now I'm gonna talk about why last, okay? Um, for now, stick with me. Assume it's two pi is good, um, suspend your disbelief. Um, and I'll just tell you how to work with it first uh, for, because I'm introducing you to a new thing. So um, you just want to know how it works first before I, um, tell you uh, why this is a good idea, okay? So um, th this is the way to think about it is um, sometimes people learn radians with just a formula, um, but uh, you don't really understand what's going on. This is really what's going on is I'm dividing a circle, you know, from, from zero, the whole way is two pi, okay? So half of the circle, if you just go from here to here, instead of going the whole, uh, whole cycle, just going halfway from here to here, what's this angle? Well, if the whole thing is two pi, this way is pi, right? How about from here to here? Well, this must be pi over two. How about from here to here? Well, this is pi over four. You get that, right? So you see, it is extremely, um, you might go, well, pi over four is an ugly number, but who cares? It is mathematics, right? <laughs> um, I, like I said, I will explain why two pi is a good choice, but you can use fractions um, and that, that is completely fine, right? Um, and you, you, and go, oh, you can go further and ask, well, what's the angle over here from, um, like if I go through the three quadrants, right? From here, uh, from one, two, three, like, like this, two, three quadrants over here. Um, so that's pi over two. In, some, in essence, this is two pi over two, right? You can multiply top and bottom by two. Um, so you'll have two pi over two. So this is, three pi over two, right? So you can think of it in terms of pi over two because each quadrant is pi over two. So pi over two, two pi over two, which is pi, three pi over two, right? One, two, three, three pi over two, four pi over two, which is two pi over two, two or just two pi, okay? Um, think in terms of fractions. Basically, radians is about thinking in terms of fractions. Um, uh, what is, so what is this angle? Well, this part, so if I like halfway between um, pi and pi over two, uh, you, you, can, you can just use your um, algebra knowledge, right? Arithmetic knowledge. Uh, this is one, this is 0. 0.5, so this is 0. 0.75. So you can do three quarters, but think in terms of fraction, it's much easier, right? This part is 
one is a quarter of a pi, right? Pi over four. So pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four, four pi over four, okay? Right, four pi over four is pi, two pi over four is pi over two. Okay, so you can keep going, right? Pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four, four pi over four, five pi over four, six pi over four, which is three pi over two, seven pi over four, eight pi over four, okay? Um, that's dividing things in fours uh, or quarters, I should say, right? So that's the same as 45 degrees. As you can see, this is the same as 90 degrees. This is the same as 135, 135 degrees. This is the same as 180 degrees, etc. cetera, uh, 270 degrees. You can, you can convert that. Um, uh, and let's also do the common angles for the thirds, right? Um, 360 was good to work with thirds, um, but so is pi because you, we can work with fractions, right? So that's pi, that's zero. So what if I divide this in, in three parts? Well, this is pi over three. Don't confuse that, that's that part. Pi over three, two pi over three, three pi over three, right? Three pi over three is just one pi. So um, what's this, this, this was meant to be 180, right? In the old system. So this is basically 60 degrees, right? 60, 120, 180, like that, right? So you, instead of using 60, 120, these, what I now call arbitrary numbers, um, just go pi over three, pi over three. So how about 30 degrees? Well, 30 degrees is pi over six, right? Because just divide this by two. Pi over six, two pi over six, three pi over six, that's pi over two. Um, and you can, you can keep going. Um, those are less common angles and we're, uh, we'll, we're, yeah, we're, we're done with that. So the, the common angles, let's, let's write that down. 30 degrees is basically pi over six radians. Um, 45 degrees is pi over four. 60 degrees is pi over three. Um, 90 degrees is pi over two. 180 degrees is pi and 360 degrees is two pi. Okay. Now, how about units? I keep saying uh, this is radians. So should I not write down radians? So you could, but it's not necessary. Okay. Radians is one of those special units that it's really a unit that isn't a unit. <laughs> What I mean is it is actually unitless um, because it's talking about how much of a fraction you have, okay? And uh, when I get to Y, you'll, you'll see why the units is not, it's not important as well. Um, so uh, I'll keep that as a different color. Um, you, if you write radians, that's fine. If you don't write it, that's fine as well. Um, in some sense, it's better not to write it as well. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, at the moment, I can't justify it until I get there. Okay, so now let me move on to the trick. So these are the common angles um, and you basically get the concept. Uh, the concept is just saying, I want to start with, instead of using 360 degrees, remember degrees is important though. Um, this shows you how important it is with degrees because if you don't write degrees, it's radians, okay? Um, so uh, essentially one, 180 degrees is 3.14 like that. You can say 3.14 radians if you want, but it is 3.14, okay? We'll see the, <coughs> we'll see why that is in a second. 